I'm gonna share with you 11 ways to burn belly fat without counting calories. First tip is to reduce your fructose intake. Yes, that means fruit. When I interviewed Dr. Richard Johnson, author of Nature Wants Us to Be Fat, his research shows that animals in the wild actually eat a whole bunch of fruit right before hibernation. Why? To put on as much fat as possible during times of famine. Same thing happens as humans. Fructose, which is 90% of it is metabolized by the liver, in excess will cause belly fat. Number two, stop the snacking. The average American is eating 17 to 23 times per day. Even if it's the healthiest, best snacks in the world, it's still creating a glucose and an insulin response, which is gonna put you in a fat storage state and it's gonna overwhelm your digestive system. Number three, master your breakfast. The way you start your day is very important for energy levels and also for fat loss. Most people are essentially eating dessert for breakfast. So what we wanna do is swap out your oatmeal, your wheat bread, your cereal, your toast, which are high glycemic foods. As a matter of fact, two slices of wheat bread will spike your glucose as high as a 12 ounce can of soda or a Snickers bar. Instead, follow the PFF formula for breakfast, which is protein, fat, and fiber, which will help you burn belly fat. Number four, practice intermittent fasting. An 18-6 schedule is ideal for burning belly fat, meaning 18 hours you're in a fasted state having just water, and then you have a six hour eating window, and that can look like 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. is your eating window, outside of that is your fasting window. Number five is to lift weights. The more lean muscle mass you can put on your body, think of them as sponges for excess glucose. Muscle is a longevity organ, it'll help increase your basal metabolic rate, which helps your body burn more calories without having to track those calories. Number six, get at least two hours of deep sleep every single night. That is called stage four sleep where most of your fat burning hormones are activated. So if you're not tracking your sleep, use a sleep tracker and aim to get at least two hours of deep sleep every single night. Number seven, go for a walk after your biggest meal. This study right here shows that when you go for a walk after eating a meal, you activate your GLUT4 transporters, which is gonna help prevent your body storing the glucose spike from that meal as fat and using it instead for energy, which is what we wanna do. Number eight, eat an insulin-friendly diet. We already spoke about insulin. It is the fat storage hormone, the bully of the block. When he's around, all of your fat-burning hormones are running away. When we think about the three macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fat, it is carbohydrates that spike glucose and insulin the most. Protein and fat don't come close to carbohydrates. Therefore, you wanna eat mostly protein and fat with your meals, and minimize your carbohydrate intake. Number nine, since you're increasing your fat, it's important not to increase the consumption of vegetable industrial seed oils. This study showed that industrial seed oils slow down the weight loss progression of the participants who are both in a calorie deficit. Those who had vegetable oils saw less weight loss. And that's because vegetable oils are highly inflammatory. I have a ton of videos about them. They're PUFAs polyunsaturated fats that will lead to inflammation in your body, not good. Swap out the hateful eight that Dr. Kate Shanahan refers to as canola oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, rice bran oil, and grapeseed oil. Get those out, swap them for monounsaturated and saturated fats, such as butter, beef tallow, ghee, lard, avocado oil, olive oil, and duck fat. Number 10, the strongest vitamin in the world every single day, vitamin G. That is gratitude. What you appreciate, appreciates. And if you're thinking about all the things that are not working for you, why you have belly fat, why this is going wrong for you, universal law states you get what you feed energy to. When you think about gratitude, think about your amazing human body, which is capable of healing and burning fat and feeling good, you get more of that. So make sure you are in a gratitude practice every single day and watch it change, not just your fat loss, but your health, and your life in general. And the final tip here is to drink green tea in the morning on an empty stomach. Green tea uncouples the mitochondria 
and I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but that essentially means it lowers free radicals, inflammation in your body, and when you uncouple the mitochondria, it actually increases your metabolic rate, which burns more calories. This study showed that catechins found in green tea have been shown to target and burn belly fat. So have some green tea in the morning along with the other tips and you're gonna be in a fat burning state in no time.